Hey friends, my name is Krithi, and today we're going to make a super cool bubble popping game. So are you guys ready to start coding? If you are, click right on this green OK button and we'll get right into it. Now it might look like there's a lot of different things on our screen, but don't worry. We'll go through everything step by step. How about we start on the white panel here that has the directions. So when we're starting with our game, we want to actually add the bubbles that we're going to end up popping, right? We can find all of the blocks that we're going to use to code, the different pieces we're going to put together in the toolbox here. And in the toolbox, we have all of these different categories, like sprites, controller, game, music, and a few others. But it looks like we need to go to the bubble category in the toolbox, and grab this create board block and drag it right onto this gridded space that we'll call the workspace. And we can snap it right into the on start block here. Now, did you notice something change on your screen? Yeah, that's right. If you look at the bottom right here, we have this really cool game window and it looks like all of these colorful bubbles have shown up at the top of its screen. If that happened on your side too, you're doing amazing. Let's take a look at that a little closer. We can hit this button here to blow it up big onto our screens and make sure that all of these colorful bubbles have showed up at the top of what we'll call our game window, the window where we can see our game. It looks like we're all set. And we can move on to the next step by hitting this next button here or hitting this arrow button here as well. All right, are you guys ready to move on? If you haven't checked your game window yet, here's your chance. So we can always hit this button here to blow up our game window big on our screen and make sure that those bubbles showed up at the top of our screen. It looks like mine have, so let's move on to the next step. Since we're actually aiming and tossing memory bubbles at the bubbles at the top we have right now, we need a bubble to aim, right? Can you find the bubble category in the toolbox? That's right, it's right here at the bottom. And now we're picking up a new block called load new bubble right in the middle. So let's grab this one and place it right at the end inside our on start block. So we should have two blocks in on start, the green block here. And now we should notice that in our game window, another bubble has just shown up at the bottom. Here, let's check that out. So I can see here on my game window, that a red bubble, and it might be a different color for you, has shown up at the bottom of our screen. And if it has, that's amazing. Let's move on to the next step. Now it looks like we need to go to the sprites category, and that's a new one. Can you find the sprites category in the toolbox? Perfect, right here at the top. And it looks like we're taking this red long block here, and placing it right at the end of our on start block here on our workspace. Now something interesting should have changed on our game window. Here, I see that Joy, the character from Inside Out, actually showed up in the middle of my screen. That's really cool, right? This is going to be our sprite, what we're going to use to actually aim and toss our bubble at the bottom. And here's something interesting. If you want to pick a different character from Inside Out 2, you can always click right here on the Joy character in our block, and that should take us to this window. We can head over to the Gallery tab, and we see right here that there are three more characters from Inside Out. So we have Fear, we have Anger, and we have Envy. I think I want Fear to be my sprite. So I'm going to click on Fear, and hit the green done button once I'm finished. And then I can check right in my game window to make sure that my sprite has actually changed from joy to fear. And when I'm here, I can see that I indeed have fear on my game window. Are you guys ready to move on? Let's go ahead. And if you haven't checked your game window yet, make sure you check and see that a sprite, whether that's joy or a different sprite you've changed it to, shows up in the middle of our game window. And I can see that fear is right there in my game window. So let's move on to the next step. 
Now we need to make sure that our sprite is actually right below our bubble so that they can actually toss the bubble. So let's go back to the sprites category in toolbox and grab this block here that says set my sprite top to 102. And once we grab that block and place it in the on start block, we should see that our sprite moved to the bottom of our game window, just as we wanted it. It should be right below our bubble. And you might be wondering, why is it 102? Why not the number 50? Why not the number three? Let's see what happens. So I'm going to put 50 in this little space here. And it looks like our sprite moved to the center of our screen. It looks like 102 places our sprite exactly where we want it to be in our game window at the bottom. So if you change that number, make sure you change it back to 102 and we can move right along to the next step. Now we want to have control over where our bubble is actually tossed to. We want to aim the bubble. So can you find the controller category in the toolbox? Awesome, right here. And we want to grab this block here and place it anywhere in our workspace. It doesn't matter where it is. And now we should be able to aim our bubble to the right. So let's check to make sure. And you can do this by using the joystick right here on the left. So if you grab the joystick and move it to the right, you should see that these little lines here that tell us where the bubble is being aimed actually also move to the right. And if you see that happening on your side too, that's exactly how it should be, and you're doing an amazing job. Let's move on to the next step so that we can also aim to the left side. I want you guys to pause and think about how we might be able to aim our bubble to the left as well. We just added this block here to move to the right. Okay, let's try to duplicate or copy this block here and change the rights to left and see what happens. So we can click on the block we just added, hit duplicate, and move the block to a new space on our workspace. And don't worry if it's grayed out. We can change each of these options from right to left. And now let's check to see if we can aim our bubble to the left as well. So I'm going to grab my joystick and shift to the left. And there it goes. It looks like these little dots that tell us where we're aiming also move to the left with my joystick. So we're ready to move on to the next step. We want to also be able to toss our bubble now. We want to be able to toss it up. So let's go to the controller category and pick this block here and place it into any empty space on our workspace. And let's check to see if we can actually toss our bubble up. Are you guys ready? We can do this by either pressing the button A or pressing the space bar. All right, let's toss in three, two, one. And there it goes. As I expected, the bubble jumped right up to the top. If you haven't tried to toss your bubble yet, go ahead and either hit the space bar or press the A button on your controller and try to see if you can also toss your bubble. Once you're ready, let's move on to the next step. Now we want to be able to get points for popping all of these bubbles. So to do this, let's go to the scene category and take our next block. Do you see the scene category? It's right there. And let's pull this really big block and place it anywhere on our workspace. Once we've done that, we can move right along to the next step. Now let's try to test our game and see if we can actually score points and pop bubbles. So I'm going to blow this up on the big screen. And to explain the rules of how this game works, we want to use the bubble that we have, look at the color and aim it at somewhere on the top of our screen where there are two or more of the same colored bubbles. So right now, I can see that there unfortunately aren't bubbles that are the same exact color, two or more of them. But that's okay. 
I can try to aim and toss my bubble anyways. Okay. I was able to toss it, but not get any points for it. But you might notice that there's something missing from the game. Once I tossed my bubble once, there weren't any more bubbles for me to toss. So let's change that on the next step. We want to be able to load a new bubble every time we toss the one we have. So to do this, let's go back to the bubble category and grab the load new bubble block. Do you see where that block is? That's right, it's right here in the middle. So let's grab that block and snap it right at the end of our on a button pressed block here that we should already have on our workspace. Once that's there, let's test to see that our bubble actually reloads every time we toss one. So let's go to our game and let's try to toss the red one we have here and see if a new bubble loads. And there it is. I tossed my red bubble, but another pink bubble loaded after I tossed the red one. And if that's happening on your game too, your game is finished. Awesome job. Let's try to play our games. So you should also notice that every time you pop bubbles, you'll get points for it. So let's try to test our game. I'm starting out with a green bubble here, and I don't see it anywhere that has two or more green bubbles next to each other at the top. But that's okay. I can always just aim it at a green bubble somewhere and then hope that my next one will actually work out. But unfortunately, there's no yellow bubble either. And that's also okay. I will just aim this one. Oh, but I do see that there are two blue bubbles right here and I am aiming a blue bubble. So let me try to see if I can actually toss my bubble right next to the blue ones and see if I can score points. And there it is. All three of those bubbles popped and I actually got three points for it right here. Awesome job, everyone. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Not only can you play your game right here, but you can also share your game with your friends and family. So if you press done, you'll get to this screen here where you can share your project. So you can give it a title and you can hit the share project button. And that'll get you this link that you can send to any of your friends and family and they can play the game just like you are right now. If you'd like to keep playing your game, you can always play on this window right here on the left. But great job, everyone. I hope you had fun. You did amazing. I'll see you next time.